Today we're going to be looking at Lunar Tides in the color Smoky Green. So first thing you might notice is that my swatches are labeled 1 through 12. I do just want to say that they are not synonymous with hair levels. I do different video clips and pictures and such throughout the video, so numbers just help us keep track of each swatch color. These are human hair swatches, but they are not all virgin hair swatches. They've been chemically colored, treated, or bleached at some point in their existences. One is pink, technically red and green are across from each other on the color wheel, so I just wanted to see how the pink would turn out underneath the green. Two is gray, three is a natural red, four is a soft black, and then four through 11 is a range that goes to platinum blonde, and then 12 is like a toned version of number 11. So to start, I will take the color directly from the container and I will apply it to the top of each swatch. Then some people do like to dilute their dyes, so I will do a diluted version at the bottom of each swatch. Please keep in mind, everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take color differently. Plus different screens and monitors and such can make colors look different, so please just use my video as a reference for how this could possibly maybe turn out for you. For the diluted section, we're gonna do a four to one ratio. So that's gonna be one part of our dye to four parts diluter. Now, if you're unsure what diluter is, my simple answer that I like to give is that it's basically something that lightens the color of a semi-permanent dye. So each brand usually will sell their own version of a diluter, which can be really nice because it'll have the same consistency of its brand. But because I do so many different brands, I'll actually just use a plain white conditioner as my diluter. I'm going to let these sit for about three hours. I will then rinse them out and when they're dry, I'll meet you back here and we'll do some comparisons. So before we get into this, I do just want to say I have an affiliate code with Lunar Tides. You can use code FLOXY to get 15% off of your order. And this is an affiliate code, so I do make a small commission anytime my code is used. So thank you very, very much if you do use my code. Now, first thing I want to say is that I did my normal four to one ratio, and this did lighten up a little bit quicker than some more pigmented dyes do. So I would say even though it does take on some of the like brownish swatches, it's probably a little bit better for lighter hair. And then I also want to remind everyone that my swatches are not virgin. Virgin hair tends to not be as porous, so it has a harder time absorbing semi-permanent color. But since my swatches are more porous, they can take a little bit better on some of these darker ones. But most likely that wouldn't be the case, again, if your hair hasn't been dyed before. So one was originally pink. It actually took really, really well over the pink. I'd say it's probably a little bit more smoky on the direct eye portion than it is for the rest of the swatches. But overall, you still get that kind of smoky green look. The diluted section, on the other hand, I do still see some pink coming through. So I think either dilute it less than I did or try to get your hair less pink if you want it to cover better. 
two was gray. That one actually isn't too wildly different either compared to the more blonde swatches. It might lean a little bit more cool toned, but it's very minute. Sometimes the gray swatch will look extremely cool toned in comparison to the blonde swatches, but this time around it doesn't seem to make as big of a difference as it can sometimes. I'd say it actually makes more of a difference on the diluted section than it does for the direct dye. I see a little bit more of the warmth from the yellow coming through on the bottom versus on the gray for the diluted section. So three was the natural red. I think it actually took a little bit better than some of the browner swatches, but again, it can be iffy if your hair hasn't been dyed before. On my swatches, the slightly darker ones look, I think, a little bit more green than they do teal. Then on the diluted sections, there's actually not a huge difference. It didn't take wildly on the darker swatches. I do see a difference on number seven on the diluted section, but I would say it's not till number nine you start to really see the true like smoky green. And then for the direct dye portion, I would say seven is where you start to see more of the teal coming through. And again, nine is where I would say it looks a little bit more intentional. So if you plan to use this for the direct dye portion, a medium blonde is probably fine. And then if you want to dilute it, I think it doesn't look bad on nine and 10, but I do see a little bit more smooth consistency on 11 and 12 for the diluted section. And as the swatches get lighter, it also gets less green, a little bit more on the smoky teal side, with 12 probably looking the most teal on the diluted section. So we're currently under a ring light. I am a little bit curious to see if there is an undertone shift for the toned swatch and the gray swatch in sunlight. I want to see if there's any more coolness that comes from the hair being toned and gray since the other swatches tend to be a little bit more warm in undertone beforehand. So for comparisons, I don't have anything that is exact. I don't have anything that's going to be this smoky, especially. So I just wanted to compare two colors that kind of have similar undertones so you can see the difference. So I thought we would start with Manic Panic in the color Enchanted Forest. This is comparable to number 12, 11, 10, and 9. So hopefully you can see now just how smoky the smoky green is in comparison to the Manic Panic. Manic Panics is very true saturation. I don't really see a lot of smokiness, but it is a little bit dark. So I would recommend if you plan on doing this over darker hair or virgin hair, you might get a better result with the Enchanted Forest because you can just tell it's much, much more pigmented. Usually ashy kind of colors tend to not be quite as pigmented. I'm not really sure if it's harder to make it more pigmented or not, but it is something I've noticed. The next comparison I wanted to look at is directions in the color Alpine Green. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10, and number 9. So compared to the Manic Panic's Enchanted Forest, the Alpine Green, I would say, is a little bit on the slightly more smoky side, like it's not quite as saturated. But even still, it is not as smoky as the smoky green. And on its own, this one does seem to be a lot lighter than the Manic Panic and smoky green as well. But like I said, it was slightly more smoky, so I did want to compare it. And I know earlier I kind of said that the smoky green looks a little bit teal. To me, it does. Lunar Tides does make a smoky teal, and that one is just very, very blue in comparison. Like, compared to the smoky teal, this does look green. It's just hard because to me, this is what I picture like a smoky teal looking like. All right, so now I'd like to get into the before and after clips. Those, as well as anything past this point in the video, will be done in natural lighting.
I hope this video helped. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. Just remember, I only do brands that do not test on animals. Thank you so very, very much to my patrons. Thank you if you use my code and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.